If you enjoy the content on this channel, please like and subscribe. The Boys Season 4 is an American satirical superhero television series. Based on the comic book series of the same name, written by Garth Ennis and Derek Robertson. It was developed for television by American writer and television producer Eric Kripney. The season is produced by Sony Pictures Television in association with Point Grey Pictures, Original Film, Kripney Enterprises, Kickstart Entertainment and KFL Night Sky Productions. The show's fourth season stars Carl Urban, Jack Quaid, Anthony Starr, Erin Morarity, Jesse T. Usher, Laz Alonzo, Chase Crawford and Karen Fukuhara. This season we see Susan Hayward, Valerie Curry and Jeffrey Dean Morgan joining the cast. Taking place six months after the events of the previous season, the boys work now with the CIA to assassinate Victoria Newman, played here by Claudia DeMitt. This is in an effort to stop her from taking over the government. Concurrently, Newman is closer than ever to the over office under the muscly thumb of Homelander, who is consolidating his power. With only months to live, Butcher, played by Carl Urban, has lost his position as the leader of the boys, who are fed up with these lies and he must find a way to work with them if they want to save the world before it's too late. The season shares continuity with the spin-off of Gen V and is set after the conclusion of its first season released in 2023. The fourth season was announced following the third season premiere. Its first three episodes were released on the streaming service Amazon Prime Video on June 13, 2024, after which episodes were released on a weekly basis. The season received critical acclaim with praise towards its action sequences, character development, dark humour, emotional depth, storyline, blend of political commentary and surrealism, and unique combination of violence, humour and social commentary, and performances, particularly those of Carl Urban, Derek Quaid, Anthony Starr and Erin Morality. The show was lauded for its bold approach to tackling complex themes and pushing narrative boundaries. However, multiple critics and publications have considered it the most polarising and darkest season to date. On May 14, 2024, the series was renewed for a fifth season, and on June 11, two days before the fourth season premiered, Kripke announced that the fifth season would serve as the final season of the show. On June 10, 2022, Amazon Prime Video renewed the series for a fourth season. According to showrunner Eric Kripke, figuring out a way to save Ryan's soul is a key priority for Butcher in the fourth season, with Kripke saying it's like Kramer vs. Kramer, combined with the Avengers Endgame. Crip Cree described the inspirations of Valerie Curry's character, Misty Tucker Gray, otherwise known as Firecracker, stating, I think it's like politicians, Marjorie Taylor Greene, Lauren Bobbitt. When we were writing her, the South Dakotan governor, Christy Nome, wasn't in our heads, but then she comes out and she's shooting puppies and things like that. That's Firecracker, she's literally shooting puppies. He would also say, Firecracker came from like, hey, isn't this Marjorie Taylor Greene scary? And just that type of personality. Like you had Donald Trump, but now you have these Trump spawn that are trying to outdo each other for how outrageous and sexualized and gun-toting and savagely obedient they can be. And just that idea, it wouldn't just start and end with Homelander. He would start and create these spores that would grow into these other characters. And she's a version of that. Kripke also revealed that Susan Hayward's character, Jessica Sage Bradley, otherwise known as Sister Sage, was conceived out of conversation about one of Homelander's biggest weaknesses, saying, he's generally surrounded by idiots. And if so, we gave him someone truly brilliant that makes him so much more formidable. It turns out that she is really a hard character to write because you had to write things that the smartest person in the world would think of. And we're not the smartest people in the world, so that was really difficult. Setting up the series Endgame, Kripke commented on the season's finale impacting, stating, there's a sort of seismic change at the end of season 4. Nothing in the world is ever going to be the same. The season finale is dedicated to Larry Kripke, father of Eric, who died on February 13th, 2024. The fourth season includes an original song written by series composer Christopher Lennitz titled Let's Put the Christ Back in Christmas. The song is featured in the third episode and is performed by the Vought on Ice figure skating performers. In order to compose the piece, Lennart said he immersed himself in a marathon of ice capade shows including Disney on Ice and Frozen on Ice, seeking inspiration on the dancer's final form. Lennart said he took inspiration from Christmas songs as well as, of course, showrunners Eric Kripke's style of writing. He said he would also take inspiration from articles about the latest uproars over anti-Christmas sentiments. One notable moment was Candace Cameron Bure's stance against LGBTQ+ representation in Hallmark Christmas movies, which Leonard's found to be a telling source of exasperated satire. Upon the season's finale release, the title of the episode was retitled from Assassination Run to Season 4 Finale, following the attempted assassination of Donald Trump some five days prior. 
A view discretion was added to the beginning of the episode, with Amazon, Sony Pictures Television and the producers of The Boys opposing real-world political violence and clarifying that any scene or plotline similarities to real-world events are coincidental and unintentional. Kripke would say, we are a superhero TV show, we're fictional. Obviously it's a political show with a point of view, so there's going to be some horrible coincidences, but anything in the real world we condemn and are against in the strongest possible terms. We are just making our superhero show. Season 4 was highly criticised by the audience. Users mainly criticised the season leading towards more left-wing political commentary, compared to what was perceived as both left and right-wing commentary from prior seasons. Numerous journalists, fans and critics have theorised and noted that Trump inspired the series' character development of Homelander, a theory which of course was later confirmed by Kripke. Days before the premiere of season 4, Kripke described the series to The Hollywood Reporter as a story about the intersection of celebrity and totalitarianism and how social media and entertainment are used to sell fascism. He would also say that viewers who think the show is too woke should go and watch something else. Garth Ennis, co-creator of the comic book series, addressed his thoughts about the right-wing fans and their reaction to the series' satire, claiming that this is a world where both ends of the political spectrum can claim they are the good guy or the bad guy. Now, The word that comes to mind to describe The Boys Season 4 is absolutely magnificent. This latest installment in the hit series is a masterclass in storytelling, character development and social commentary. The show's unique blend of dark humour, action and satire is more refined than ever, making for a truly unforgettable viewing experience. The cast once again delivers performances that are both captivating and unsettling, bringing depth and nuance to their complex characters. Anthony Starr is absolutely magnificent here as Homelander. He is literally one of the most vile and evil characters ever written and Star brings him to life with absolute perfection and fully deserves any award that comes his way for this outstanding performance. Carl Urban once again is so underrated here as Carl Butcher. He's such a brilliant character actor and reinvents himself for every single role. The rest of the cast are too large to mention, but a special mention must go out to Jack Quaid, Aaron Morority, Jesse T. Usher and Laz Alonzo. And even the new additions here of Susan Hayward as Sister Sage and Valerie Curry here as Firecracker just add perfectly to the show. As always, the writing is as sharp and thought-provoking as ever, tackling tough topics like toxic masculinity, celebrity culture and the dangers of unchecked power. This show literally does not pull any punches. It's shocking, it's violent, it's in your face, but it's done so well. This is certainly not a show for the faint of heart. And even though it's been heavily criticised for maybe bridging or step too far into the social and political commentary, I found this season to be one of the strongest so far. The show pulls no punches and has deep dark digs as it explores themes of power, corruption and social commentary. Would I describe a show like this as woke? Definitely not. What it does do though is it comments on the more ultra-conservative side of American society. It highlights some of the strange and dangerous thoughts being put forth into the modern world. At the end of the day, this is of course a fictional satire but with its powerful, deep messaging, the show in many ways acts as a modern piece of counterculture. This is truly a thought-provoking and powerful series that if you look past its surface as just another comic book show, really is a series with immense depth, layered nuanced characters, and a political satire commentary on the world's greater issues at play, all the while combining it in the context of a fictional universe. This is a powerful, wild, unapologetic series that will leave you on the edge of your seat but as I said, if you look past the violence, look past the sensational storyline and the excellent performances, really is a show that at its heart is sending you a message, making you think and question the moralities of the world that we live in today. And to leave you pondering and wondering if our world will ever enter into complete and utter chaos once again. The Boys Season 4 gets a 9.5 out of 10.